credit coming up at 8.30, over. Game on. Hey there, game gurus. Welcome back to the channel. One of the big things I've always been or always talk about is when you're playing these games, video games, having the right controller for the game, especially the classics. Because a lot of times in the classics, the controllers were a little more unique for that particular game. Not so much these days, but definitely back in the day. Now, behind me right here is the Atari Lunar Lander game. It wasn't the most... Um, graphically intensive game as you can see, but Lunar Lander was a very fun game. Came around, uh, out around the same time as Asteroids. It's a vector game using vector graphics, and it was very simple controls. You had just a button for left to rotate your ship left, a button for right, rotate your ship right, an abort button, but also a special throttle controller. Now, this game is on a lot of the arcade one-up machines, like the original machine, the Asteroids machine. It's been released a few times on that uh, console, the arcade one-up machines, if you will, and as usual, they didn't really put the time and effort in for the controls. On that machine, it's just pressing a button for thrusting, and that's not how the game should be. So, I kind of went rogue once again with my team, and I uh, had uh, my buddy Gary over at uh, Arcade Workshop do a little skunk work project for me, and I really need to find out and judge from all of you out there uh, if this is something that we should make uh, come out with uh, in the future and it's basically a lunar lander throttle and this has a spring actuator as you can see it's, it's spring loaded and it's basically using the Giresh uh, buttonhole spinner and just put it in this particular design case and uh, well let's take a look and see how it actually plays with MAME here and lunar lander now this will not obviously work in the arcade one machine because that ROM is all baked in They're using a button Just not as good. To thrust it now, not that the system may be able to hack it, but as it stands, there's no USB ports on the original Asteroids, um, maybe the 12 in one. But in any case, just really designed for MAME on a PC or Raspberry Pi or something that can run an emulator that'll accept a USB uh, mouse, because that's basically what this is going to be seen as a USB mouse. But well, let's stop talking. Let's take a look and see how this improves this game over the Asteroids from Arcade One Up. I mean, really. Let's see how this works. Let's go. Okay, so here we have the GRS Lunar Lander controller designed by Arcade Workshop. And you can see it is a spring-loaded throttle. So if I take my hand, it'll just drop right back down to it. It's got a little spring in there. And it's using a GRS uh, standard uh, buttonhole spinner inside for the controls. And uh, it can be any kind of throttle, like a jet fighter, rocket ship, or in this case, Lunar Lander. So I'm going to put a credit in. Let's give it a try. See, this is how the game's supposed to be played on the arcade one. It was just a button, which would have been doing just control like that. This gives you the option of doing a little thrust to a lot of thrust. And that's how the game is supposed to be played. And that's why I hate it when people design game consoles without the right controllers. Because it adds so much more to the effect having this throttle. And that's how you do it. 
Let's try that again. This is really nice. I'm really enjoying this controller here. Uh, I need to go all the way over, so I'm just going to let my ship float for a little bit. It's so much better to have actual control over your thrust, just like you would have had on the original arcade game Luna Lander. Awesome, absolutely awesome. Now the fun fact about Lunar Lander is you have unlimited ships. You can crash, you can blow your ship up. As long as you have enough fuel, the game will keep going as long as you have fuel. Once your fuel's gone, that's when the game's over. Try doing that with just pressing a single button. So that's it. I mean, again, this controller is not going to be used widely. Um, maybe some, uh, maybe fighter games. I'm not sure if this even works with like Afterburner. I remember Afterburner did have a throttle on them. But in theory, it could work. Anything that will accept the USB mouse as a controller should be able to be mapped in the game. But optimally, this is really designed for very few games. But you know, maybe because you for a car throttle or something along those lines. 
But the point I'm just trying to make is this controller is not going to be a high volume controller unless someone finds games that could really use it. I did it for Lunar Lander. I want to play the game the right way. And it comes down to do you guys think there's something you'd want GRS to come out with? A Lunar Lander spring loaded uh, throttle. I'll leave, uh, leave some notes down in the comments. Uh, I'll take it back to my team. But this is really up to you guys. This is something, a very niche controller, but I do feel these type of classic games require the right type of controller. So it's up to you guys. Is this something you want to see coming forward from us? Let me know down in the comments. That's it for this video. If you did like the video, please give me a thumbs up. It helps me out in the YouTube algorithms. It just takes a second for you guys, but it really helps me out uh, as a channel trying to grow. And if you're not a subscriber, please consider subscribing. But that's really it. So whether you want to play Lunar Lander the right way or the arcade one-up way, it's up to you. But that's not as important as family and friends. Make sure you always tell your family and friends that you love them, whether you're on the moon, Mars, or here on Earth, because tomorrow's never promised. But in between those times, game on. Two, one, Houston. Turn away, Houston. Thanks for good. Thanks, God. Are you looking for that arcade experience at home? If you don't have the space for a full-size arcade in your house or endless funds, then you need the GRS Build-A-Gate. It's arcade quality without the arcade price. From someone you can trust. The GRS Build-A-Gate is very simple and easy to assemble one six scale arcade computer you can build yourself. You can buy interchangeable controllers for every gaming option you need to play the games the way they're meant to be played. You can also design your own artwork or purchase artwork separately to make your GRS Build-A-Gate look like the machine of your dreams. The GRS build gate is also the only home system STEM certified. Come see what all the YouTube creators are raving about. GRS build gate